Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode. Um, Y'all just give me a few minutes, um, or a few seconds just to get together. Um, I have to get everything set up in the way for YouTube. I've never really done a YouTube live stream, so... Hello, um, I don't know who's watching right now, um, but hello if you are. Um, if you'd like just to give me just a few minutes to get everything set up, I'll start. Um, so thank you for joining me. Oh, hello, second person. I don't know who these people are, but I'm happy that y'all are here. All right, so since there are already some people here, we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Ben, and this is Ben's Art. Thank you for that like. Um, y'all just have to bear with me. This is my first time actually going live on YouTube. Um, I've done several lives on Facebook, um, just not on YouTube yet. So this is all of a new experience for me, new Uncharted Waters. So... Let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm super excited. Today we'll be painting, sorry for any of the shaking also as far as the camera. I don't have a real camera set up right now. It's just more of my iPhone sitting on a rig that I have, so right now. All right, so here we go. Um, oh boy, <laughs> let me take a breath. All right, so I believe the first bird I'm going to do is a, um, red bird so um, I gotta make sure I'm not off going off camera all right the bird that's on the thumbnail right now is one of the birds that we will be painting today so, all right so I'm starting off with the structure of the bird first okay we're starting off with this structure. This is going to be our head, and then we'll put our beak out here, and then the tail will go down here. All right. So put this here. Okay. It's going to be a quite large bird. All right. I guess we can. Oh, if you're watching this video, please go ahead and share this video. I would love, that would be very nice. Um, to help me get my name out. Comment and like the video. Alright. So, we got our nice rough outline put up. We'll go ahead and erase the inside of this. Sorry, I really can't see right now. All right.
if you want to know what um, paper I'm using, I'm using the Canson 140-pound um, paper. Um, so, yeah. Right. I'm going to move this head out a little bit more. I really feel like the head should be leaning just a bit more. Oh boy, wow. What a hit. I apologize for any background noise. My um, studio is right next to the um, the living room, our living room. So I apologize for that. All right, I'm just seeing how everything looks on the live stream right now. All right. Well, I need to fix that beat. We gotta get everything, make sure it looks nice here because once we start inking, then we can't take it off. So. All right. Let's mark that there. You mark this up here, of course. Um, now this right here is just going to be some lines that we have to follow later on in the video. Okay. I'm going to start drawing our feathers in here. This is where the wings will stop right here. The wings always look weird um, before we ink them. They'll always look strange and they won't look good most of the time. But it's like as soon as you ink them, they always look really good. Okay. Um, I need to make this a little bit smaller. is normally what it's like when I draw just very 
slow and it progresses the more I go. So I don't know if that's all he uses. First bird. Okay. I gotta make sure I got everything on here. Um, just right. <clears throat> Looks good. All right. So, um, let's see. I had a follow reference for that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and draw our second bird. Um, right now we're just getting a feel for the plant we'll be drawing. I'm gonna chop all this off. Basically, this will be the full body of the bird. It's just going to be like this weird shape right here. And then about right here, we'll have the wings. Sorry. It's going to be about right there. Um, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and sub um, share. Um, that always helps me if you share. Hello, third person, whoever the third person is, thank you for joining me. Um, we've just already finished the first bird. Um, thank you, Downey Studios. Thank you so much. Um, we've already finished the first bird, and then we'll be doing the second bird. And we're on the middle of the doing the second bird. Um, our first one will be a blue jay, and then the second one will be a um, red bird. So...
right now I'm working on getting the shape of the burden and then everything else. If you like what you're seeing, um, go ahead and share this video. Um, you can get your friends to watch and everything because it's about to get interesting. The first part of this is never really all that interesting, but once we get more into the video, it will get very interesting. So go ahead and get your friends involved. They would, I think they would might like this actually. Um, I don't know if I said, but this is gonna be a red bird. I really, I have very bad memory. <laughs> and also thank you for that second light. There we go, I think I got it now. Yeah, perfect. We'll put our second, we'll put the eye of this bird right here. They always look so funny when you draw them like this. And if you don't add anything else, it's absolutely hilarious. All right. See, let's, let's see. I have, I have a reference photo, so I can't, cause I can't remember what the, um, patterns of this bird looks like. Alright. Let's see. And that's the pattern. I just never can remember where it goes or what direction it goes in. It's got a nice little thing right there. Let's put some more thing. I'm gonna work on this cow a little bit more of the bird or this piece part. Um, it seems to go back more. There we go. Um, these birds, the red bird is a little more of a, <clears throat> it's a little bit more f um, furry. It's not furry, but they're a little more they're a lot bigger than the other bird, the red chase. So. All right, so now we'll go ahead and put the feathers in. We always start off very small, then we kind of get a little bigger, a bit bigger, and then we make the larger feathers. Three people still watching. Thank you um, for watching. Um, I noticed on the reference picture, the birds now go a little bit more like that. Just kind of stops right there. All right. So we now have our outline for our birds done. Okay. Sorry for any of the noise. Um, I. My art studio is in our back, is in the back of our house, so we have frogs, so I apologize for any frog noises. I want to work on that a little bit more. We've got the basic shapes and everything. All right. Um, I just got a text saying they're watching, but the comments, they're, they, it's not letting them comment. Um, you could quite possibly, um, you'll have to go down to, let's see. Yes, I'm using reference photos. Um, I live in Georgia. Yeah. There's frogs here. It's hot, very hot here. So, it's very hot here. Already, it was actually really, it was hotter here than it was in Florida. Florida was actually warm, so. Um, and the way you comment is you can go down to the bottom and 
you can turn on allowing you to comment and all that stuff. So, yeah. Share this with your friends. I'm, I'm going to keep reminding you that. <laughs> Share it with your friends um, so they can enjoy, too. All right. So our birds are now complete. Okay. Y'all just saw me draw some birds. Okay. Let me take a sip of my lemonade. Got lemonade. <laughs> All right. I got my lemonade and everything else. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Sharpie. Okay. This is a fine point sharpie and then we'll go in here and then we'll start tracing everything out and after we trace everything very carefully oh my goodness ah shoot well look at there we can just race it away it'll be okay um i got my paper wet <laughs> and it can't get wet yet not until time to paint um yeah there we go it'll be okay i'm gonna be taking a needable eraser once i get done um, tracing everything with a pen. Couldn't think of my words for a second, but yes. All right, we're gonna start down here. I can't really tell where y'all can see right there. All right, um, we're gonna start making some wood. Put some knots out. There we go. Perfect. And then I'll take it up some more. Right here. Give it a little more of a wood effect. And then take it up and then bring it back down and bring it back up. This is if you have a shaky hand, it always comes in handy to do this. And we'll just kind of bring it up, and bring it up, and there we go. Um, if you still can't figure out how to comment, then I don't know what to do. You can text my father. He'll tell you what to do. Uh, well... Yeah, shaky hands do come in handy on certain things. Like, um, Bob Ross used to say, if you have a shaky hand, <laughs> um, it came in handy with making trees. Um, now, it doesn't always come in handy, as far as like when you're doing very detailed stuff, like in a portrait. But it sometimes comes in handy. So, sometimes, not all the time. I have somewhat shaky hands, so... All right, let's go ahead and start tracing out these birds. All right, there we go. Now, if you'll notice, when I start tracing, I'm not going to do full straight lines. Um, it will be a line, and then it'll be kind of like a broken up line, and then another line. Um, and why you, the reason why you do that is because you do that to show how bold a line is. So, like, this eye right here, it's going to be a complete bold line because um, it's it's very obvious that there's a break right there. Thank you for that second like. Um, but yeah, so our line work is going to be very important in the process of making this um, of these birds. So like right here, I made a little bit of detail of the um, fur. Not for feathers. Um, when I'm doing the outline of the feathers, as far as the outside goes, um, I don't know if y'all can see, but basically I'm taking it and I'm just like doing that with the feathers. All right. So there we go. Uh, Sorry, I really cannot see the way my camera is set up. I cannot really see. I'm sorry. Okay, 
like the beak right there, just got a nice line. Okay. And we're gonna do a little bit of separating here. So we can do a bit line work here. When you do the pin work, it like adds so much more life to the drawing. And here's the feather work. You can do this pretty fast because the way we'll be painting this, you won't actually see much of the detail. little baby feathers. I'm going to call them baby feathers because they're small. Alright. There we go. I believe that one's almost done. We're going to give him some nice little feet that he can walk on. Let me go ahead and just color those in. There we go. Alright, the first bird is done. I'm gonna... Sorry for any of the background noise. As again, I apologize for that. Alright. So, we'll now move on to these. this bird. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Making the lines again in the cards. Alright. All right. There we I'm gonna show a little bit of the, um, I'm gonna show that there's a little bit of fur there too. those frogs again. <laughs> Crazy frogs. I may have to close the window later on if they get too bad. Forget the head. There we go. All right. I believe I've done everything. I think I've got all my areas traced out. Any more questions before we move on to the next part of the video of painting? No questions? All right. We'll move on to the watercolor painting portion now. I'll go ahead and show you on my palette. It is a mess. I can tell you that it is a mess. So. I've had that for about two years now. So. 
All right. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and start erasing. And if there's any line work that needs to be fixed, we'll fix that. But other than that, I think we're good. This part's like the moment of truth, basically. I always hate it when I do like a really good picture and it's like very detailed. And I go and I erase the construction lines. And when I do, I like haven't traced half of it. So, um, and Dam Studios, I believe you asked me at one point if I was using a reference photo, and yes, I am. I don't remember if I answered that or not. I am using reference photos, and the pictures that I am referencing from are pictures that I've already actually painted. So, yeah. Um, what paper am I using? I am using Canson 140 pound paper. That's what I'm using. And if you want to know what the paints also, I am using the Daler and Rowley watercolor set. Yes, they are very cheap, but they work very well. I've gotten some tremendous um, results with them. So, yes. Um, so, we'll move on. Quick note to tell y'all about the water I'll be using to clean my brush. I'll be using this right here is what I'll be cleaning my brush in. It is a mixture of rubbing alcohol and water. I found that it cleans the brush a lot more, a lot better. And then I'm just using plain water for my drawing to everything like that, you know. All right. There's this line right here I need to get rid of. All right. I think we're good. Let's get on. So, we'll start on with this picture first. We'll do that bird first and then we'll move on. So, I'm going to... Oh, let's see. Right now, I'm going to be mixing some... I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the colors I have. All I know is that that is burnt sienna. I'm sorry. Y'all can't see it. All right, so we'll be using this blue right here. It's a little dark. Let's see. Might have to clean up that piece of water. All right. So, yes. I use the Canson 140 pound paper. I'm still answering that question. All right. The trick to watercolor painting is to use very light coats. So we'll start off with very light colors. Okay. Yeah. I just got my paintbrush. Oh well. Well shoot. Alright. We'll get a little bit of color in here. Not too much. Alright. There we go. I'm being very gentle and I haven't wet the paper at all, so the only thing that it'll be spreading on is the water that I put on here. So we'll be covering this in a very thin coat first. We'll be coloring this in very lightly. Um, and basically the whole thing will be covered in a light coat of some sort when we get done. So and it doesn't take long, so don't worry about that. I just covered one of its wings, so. There we go. Um, just to tell you, if you try and attempt to do watercolor painting on anything besides watercolor paper, you will warp your paper. Um, and when you warp it, you don't want that to happen. Uh, in fact, I'll actually give you an example of what warping is. Because, I mean, 
Um, so here's just a blank sheet of paper. Um, I'm going to wet it, and then I'll show you what happens. Right. Let that set for a little bit, and then I'll get back and show you what warping looks like. The first thing about having watercolor paper is the fact that it doesn't rip easy. So like when you wet it, it won't rip it. Um, and it won't warp as well. So You can do watercolor painting in your sketchbook if you have one. Um, and it's not watercolor paper. You can do that. Because I used to do that. And it, it's okay. And as long as you use very thin coats, you should be okay. So, if you like what you're seeing, again, I would ask you to please share. You help me out more than you know if you share this video. Alright, there we go. I'm using very light coats. Alright, going back over in certain areas and just slowly adding color. Okay. Alright. Now I just add about a good little bit of gray. I just made a mistake. Um, I just went against one of the laws of watercolor painting, but it's okay. Yeah, it won't kill me. I need to dry this off. If you want to dry off a part, you can just take a brush and just lightly erase. Dry brush. Make that. I should have told you that. It's a, it should be a dry brush. Okay. One sec. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me just for a second. Sorry guys, I'm back. I had something happen and I had to take care of it, but we're back. All right. So, um, I've already painted some of the darker shadows already, so we'll go ahead and take care of those. All right. Let's go ahead and take care of this. All right. We're still just using that same blue. I'm just every once in a while mixing a little bit of black and getting the color darker and darker. So that's all I'm doing. We'll do very light coats like this. And at one point, we'll just let it set for a little while. And then we'll move over to here to this bird. Start getting get it a nice base coat. And then we'll come back to this bird and start doing... Oh, a little shoot. I was talking about that bird and I started painting that bird. Should not have done that. This is always a good thing that you can always learn how to do. erase since you really can't erase watercolor um, you just have to use a couple of things that you can have there we go right. 
Now we can go ahead and start adding some of the royal colors. Some more of the royals and blues and all that stuff. Now these colors are straight from the actual well where I get the colors from. So the little block is where it comes from. Okay, so. and the nice pretty blues and all that stuff. If anybody here is from Facebook, I have a Facebook account, but I uh, don't have a Facebook page yet. Um, once I hit 50 subscribers, then I'll put up a Facebook page where y'all can follow me and I can do live streams there because I know a lot of people that follow me actually don't have YouTube. You'd be surprised. How many people do not actually have YouTube? So, it's a little weird. I didn't know that many people did not have YouTube. Um. There we go. There's somebody watching, I know right now who the person is. Um, and I know they're on here. Can you go to the Facebook, can you go to your Facebook page? Because I can't right now. And mention that I'm on Face. I'm on YouTube right now because I don't know if anybody really knows and I can get a couple of pe more people over here. Um, and the whole reason why is that is because the more people that watch this video, the more people I'm exposed to. So it always helps because, yeah, it just helps out a lot. Here we go. Here we go. We'll start doing our shading around here and a little crack right there and it looks good uh, at least I think it does there we go and we have a pretty decent looking bird um, we can always do a nice little right there All right, looks good. Yeah, looks pretty good. All right, we'll come down here now to its little claw, just a little one. I'm mixing some yellow with some raw sienna, burnt sienna, sorry, raw burnt sienna. Um, and then we'll color it in. a touch of black. Okay. And there we go. All right. So we will continue going now. There we go. Ah. I just stabbed myself with a pencil on accident. With a pen. All right. Let's continue. I'm going to do a very thin coat. Alright, so we finished this bird, so we're going to go to this bird now. Okay. Um, and we're going to do a thin coat 
or a very, sorry, not thin, light coat of black right here for now. Then we'll go over here. Okay. Um, then we'll come underneath the wing right here. And then we'll... There we go. We're just doing our shading first on this bird. y'all can see this I don't know if y'all can see me or not because apparently my life just went out for some reason so I'm not sure why if y'all can see me um, please comment right now because I do not know if anybody can see me my, com my live stream just went out for some reason Okay. All right, thank you. You can see the painting, but not... Yes, that's what I mean. I'm sorry. I should have made that a little bit clearer. Um, yeah. All right. So now that I know y'all can see me, we'll go ahead and start doing some more of the shading on this bird. It's The red on this painting is not going to be exactly red. It's going to be more of a brown. That's because, yeah, that's how I want this bird to look. My shadows will be brown. That's what I mean. So we'll come in here and bam. Um, I need some more yellow. Get some shading around the eyes. When we get done doing this, it will, um, it will look like shading. Look really cool. Uh, the actually the beak of a red bird is also red, which is kind of common, I guess. All right, now we can actually start painting the bird red. Now we can. So I'll go here, get some red. Okay. Sorry, my reds. Red, for some reason, is a very weak color when it comes to this palette. It is very weak, so it's hard to get the red. Oh, you're an acrylic gal? Um, I, I actually am more of a watercolor and, and not watercolor, um, oil painter. I like to oil paint, um, and I also do I do basically all of the little mediums. Um, I recently just started back into watercolor and I painted one of these birds and I was like, you know what? This would make a really nice first impression for YouTube. So I originally had planned on a draw because that's what I do on my channel is I draw. But instead I'm painting for some reason. Um, at the end, I'll show y'all the original little bird that I had done that made me want to do this, so. Um, in fact, I actually find oil painting a little, a little more fun than watercolor. It just smells worse, I'll tell you that. With all those chemicals you have with oil painting, it's like lit. Alright, 
let's continue. Um, the next color I'll be using is crimson. Okay, crimson, Daylier and Rally, crimson, watercolor. This is going to help me get the purest of color that I can. Alright. There we go. That's the colors we were looking for. This red bird might not turn out as good as the um, blue bird. I don't know. There's something about red. I just, I'm not good at red. I don't know. Like, I've noticed I'm better at certain colors than I am with other. So, who knows. I'm just going to take a little bit of black and mix it in with that red. Some brown. Okay, Darken up this area. There we go. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and darken up the um, little beak again. I'm not going to dot the beak, this little area. I, can't remember the, I don't know what this is. Just a little dark area around the eye. Um, and I'll go ahead and actually... No, that's a little too much. Um, I will darken up a little bit. Back here. I'm making this very dark because once it dries, it becomes lighter. So... Some more of our darker colors, like the darkest it will get. So that's the black. Blend the shadows out a little bit. Alright, and we'll come back up here and get some of that red. Cut it off. And there we go. That red doesn't look normally as good as it does, but I don't know why. It's a little weird. <clears throat> That's the thing about oil painting. You can always rely on your color to look the same when you paint it with um, watercolor painting. It's just whatever it looks like when it comes out. Let's go ahead and, ooh, that's a little wet. I'm going to darken some of this up. Alright. Now we're just getting to the point where we're doing some final little touch-ups. And we're getting, oh, that's the wrong color. Um, we're just getting close to the home stretch at the end. So, we're getting close. Getting real close to that end point where we say goodbye. Say goodbye one more time.
Um, if this is your first time joining me, thank you for coming along to this journey with me. Um, I hope you will join me on my other, on my channel. Um, subscribe and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching. I'm not done just yet. We'll be done in just a minute. Almost there. Alright. So now we'll go ahead and paint the branch they're on. Um, and to do that, I'm taking some brown, of course. That's normally the color you paint wood. Um, take some brown right here. And of course, we'll add more color than just brown to the water. Throwing basically browns, blacks, and grays into our wood. Now we'll go ahead and add some greens into the wood, um, and then I'll add the shadow, and then we will be done. So it doesn't have to be very like obvious. There's green; it just has to give the little hints that we have. We still have some green with this wood. Now it's time for the shadow. Again, I apologize for those um, frogs in the background. They're pretty annoying. Don't tell them I said that. But... All right. There we go. And we'll just darken up this area. Throw in a little bit of black. Okay. Really, the point of watercolor is not to get every detail in there, but just to show. A blurred version. Bas basically, we're just doing a blurred version of something. So, that, I believe, is going to be a wrap as far as the painting goes. Put a dot right there in his eye. Dot. Always adds a little bit of character to him. So, thank you so much for watching. I fun with y'all a whole new world thank you <laughs> Donnie Studios um, thank you for that like whoever liked I don't know who liked I wish I knew so I would thank you but thank you all right I'm gonna show y'all the original painting that started me on this and you'll be like he just painted almost the same exact thing and yeah 
um, a lot of people were telling me I, I was going to, I should paint a red bird. So I was like, all right, I'll paint a red bird. So I threw a red bird in there along with this blue bird. And this is the first time I have painted a bird in my life. So, yeah. And it was like after a long time after I'd even done any bit of watercolor painting. So I'd like to thank everybody for joining me. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you so much for watching and staying to the end. If you like this and want to see more, go check out my channel. That's Ben's Art, capital B-E-N, apostrophe S, capital A-R-T, Ben's Art. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to say that a lot, <laughs> but a good painting always deserves a good signature. So, Ben. Thank you, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.